Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about a very important structure of the plants which is the leaf. So this is the uh, area or this is the part of a plant we know which actually makes food through the process of photosynthesis. So let us introduce ourselves and know a more about the leaf and its structure. So what is the leaf? These are lateral flattened structure which are born on the stem. So they develop at the nodes and they bear the buds. So as you can see over here at each nodes of the stem, they, the leaves they arise and at the base of all these structures, they have got bud like structures and we know what are buds. These are condensed structures which can later on give rise to various other structures like flowers, fruits, etc. Occasionally, these leaves, they can be needle like, they can also be scalar. So these depend on the type of environment in which these plants are growing. So wherever they require the formation of needles or scales, depending on the environment, these transformations happen. The top of the stem, at each stem, the, uh, at the top or the, at the apex, what happens? They contain very actively dividing meristematic cells. So these are known as the shoot meristems. Now from the shoot meristems, the leaf, they originate as leaf primordia. So what is leaf primordia? This is the initial or the primary uh, structure of the leaf before the uh, formation of a proper leaf. The structures which arise is the preliminary structure. So these structures are known as the leaf primordia which arise from the root meristems which are actively dividing areas of the stem and they form from the shoot meristems. Now let us talk about the different structures of a typical leaf. The first structure we will discuss about is known as the leaf base. So uh, let us look into this diagram. The leaf base, leaf attaches to the stem by the leaf base. So this is the area which is known as the leaf base. So this area actually attaches the whole structure of the leaf to the stem and these leaf base, they bear two structures which are leaf like. These structures are known as the stipules. In case of the monocot leaves, what happens? The base of the leaf, they can expand into a sheath like structure and it can cover the whole stem or partially. It can wholly cover the stem or partially they can cover because of the expanding of the leaf base. Now, in some leguminous plants, what are leguminous plants which has got nitrogen fixing capabilities? So those are the leguminous plants and they, what happens in some of the leguminous plants? They have swollen leaf bases and these swollen leaf bases of the leguminous plants are known as the pulvinous. Now let us look into the next structure of the leaf which is the petiole. This is a very important structure. The petiole, it is also known as the leaf stalk. So this is the petiole, which is also known as the leaf stalk. This helps in holding the structure of the leaf, attaching itself to the stem and it helps in exposing the leaf to the light. And we know light is very essential for the leaf because leaves have got chlorophyll and this chlorophyll requires sunlight in order to perform photosynthesis and prepare food for the plants. So this petiole or the leaf stalk they exposes the leaf structure towards the sunlight. These are long, thin and flexible in nature. So these petiole, this flexible, long, thin nature of the petiole helps in fluttering the uh, leaf in wind. Now this, because of this movement or this flexibility of the leaf, what happens is it can keep the leaves cool because of this fluttering in the uh, wind. And also it brings fresh air to the leaf surface. The third structure of the leaf is known as the lamina. So this lamina, this is also known as the leaf blade. This whole flattened structure we can see, this is known as the lamina or the leaf blade. This is the green expanded part of the leaf. Now this leaf lamina, it has got the veins and the veinlets. So this is the vein, these are the veins and the veinlets are uh, there. So this is the mid rib or the main axis of the vein. From there, the, from the mid rib or the mid vein, the branches have arised. And from these branches, again, very small hair like vein structures are uh, formed. These are known as the vein lets. So we, in this video, we have talked about three important structures of the leaf. What are those? The lamina, which is the leaf blade. We have talked about the petiole, which is the structure or the stalk, which holds the leaf to the and attaches itself to the stem. And the area where the leaf attaches itself to the stem is known as the leaf base. 
I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.